Hello everybody, it's uh, Kevin Lilly here again from Woodland Camp and Craft. Um, today we're going to, um, we're just going to make a bread loaf really. We're just going to, I've uh, uh, got the Dutch oven, we've carried it in with us. Um, it's not something that we always take with us, but for the purpose of the video we've brought the Dutch oven in. And we're just going to, uh, we're going to make a, you know, a camp, camp bread in the Dutch oven. So, uh, let's start. First of all, we picked up one of these from Tesco's. Um, they're about 85 pence. This is a cheese and onion bread mix. We've had this a few times. It's absolutely delicious, especially hot. Um, you can make your own mix and bring it bring it out, uh, but just for for ease, really, and for 80 pence, you know, I'll just pick one of these up. What bread are we making today? Damper bread or? Yeah, we're making 11, uh, 11 bread. So not just like a normal bread loaf. Okay. It's like the ones we've made about five times at home. Yeah. Could I help by any way? Yep, you can mix it for me if you want, or okay. do the kneading. Mm -hmm. And it smells lovely as well. Nothing fancy going on off camera. Just uh, putting flour into a bowl. Just putting the flour into the Dutch oven. Yeah. Always save a bit back in case you put too much water in. Mm. Just waiting for Lily to finish her water her drink now so we can use the measuring device. Oh, This little caramel bottle here comes with a pink measuring guide. Hmm. Pink. There's some pink for me. There's a pink, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Am I allowed to pour the water in? You can in a minute. Okay. So it says you want about 350 ml. And make sure to get no dirt packet. in it as well. No, nice. we've just cleaned and sterilised our hands, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, so nice. There we go. 350 ml. Stick that in. Okay. Tip it in, tip it in, tip it in. Yeah. Right, cool. Because we've used two packets. We need more. We need another 350 ml. The reason I've used two packets is that every time I've made one of these loaves before, using one of these packets, the bread only rises up about half of the Dutch oven. So this is a bit of an experiment. Are we mixing it with our hands? No, then has got a spoon. Okay. Nice and useful. This won't get dirty, like at home. Well, the, ne the, the, the second bit we'll use... Hands. Yes. Always nice and fun to use your hand. The creative way. Oh go. look, your spoon and your fork that you've made is in there. Yeah, and this is a spoon that Dad has carved, so go on then. Yeah. Get mixing. If it's taking too long, I like, like, we'll cut um, it off and bring you back. The shape on the top. Yep. Nice. Please leave it. Oh my! There's flour in it on the on my hand. How does it matter? We could both mix it with the other spoon, couldn't we? No, you go. You go ahead if you want to mix it. And it does get stuck on your spoon and your fingers. Yeah. Try this at home. <laughs> and we are making damper bread as well. Aren't we? Well, we'll do that tomorrow. Well, yeah. Let's keep to one video at a time, eh? Yeah. That's going to be breakfast tomorrow, a bit of damper bread. Yeah. And what have you brought for your damper bread tomorrow? Um, Maltese chocolate spread. Yeah. Yummy. Dad's got a bit of honey. Honey. Yeah. I'll give it a mix. Strong to do this. Just to get a bit off the sides and then you can get your hands in there, okay? Yes. The hands is fun. The hand part is always going to be fun.
pots and pans. That's what they were made for, to make bread, weren't they? The hands? Yeah. Supposed to be not to make bread. <laughs> we would have needed our hands before we could point we needed to make them. Yeah. The bread is food. We needed our hands. Back then, we don't need our hands anymore. Do we? we can just get stuff with our mouth. Like get a stick and put it on the fire with our mouth, couldn't we? It'll be gross. Slugs, snails, puppy dog tails. Dad is going to give this a mix first, okay? Okay. Nice and dough. Nice and you can and do the kneading, okay? Yeah. Do you want to get everything off the sides, everything tucked in? That bit's fun. I like doing all of it. It smells lovely already. Mmm, yummy. You can smell it from where you are. That's like more than a centimetre away. <laughs> About half a metre, maybe. Like to your face. Maybe. Yeah. Did you just see that big powder um, go up? I hope I bought the shovel. Shovel? Yeah. Why do you need the shovel? Because when we're cooking this bread at the later yeah. stage, we chuck the embers, we'll chuck the coals and that on top. Okay. The Dutch oven to cook the top. Okay. I should nearly always bring it because we need it for the top. I just can't remember seeing whilst it. You're right, whilst you're making bread? Really? What? I, do, I don't know if you needed to talk about something completely different. Not the toilet? Yeah. Well, we're not eating, are we? Well, we're not eating, so but... It's really bad manners, is it? No. Okay. I guess not. But the toilet isn't anything related around food. Right. Well, yes, let's it just, is. Let's just end it there, shall we? Yes, it is. Because it eats something. Right, let's just <laughs> end it there, please. <laughs> We don't need toilet humour jokes on the video, do we? We need something funny. Right, Lily, pee. <laughs> pee? You have to bring it back with your fingers mm -hmm. and push down with your palm, uh, okay? So. Bring it back, push. Okay. If it gets a bit sticky, mm -hmm. find a bit of flour off the side. Yeah. Okay? Sprinkle it on. It's and just push. Heavy. This is called kneading, yeah? Yeah. It's very bring heavy. and push. What you're trying to do is trying to put trap pockets of air. The more air pockets you trap, mm. the more the bread will rise, okay? Okay. I've got a bit of flour in that bag there, if your hands get yeah. too sticky, that we're going to make the damper bread out of tomorrow, okay? Yeah. You just do that for a good 10 minutes now. <laughs> then we're going to let it rest. Close enough. Five minutes, then we'll give it another 10 minutes, okay? Go for it. Mm. I can't reach from there. Thank you. So. That's it. This is called me getting this on your hand. So, guys, back to change and we've just brought you back. Just going to tidy little Lily's hands a bit. Mm -hmm. Me being me, I always get messy. That's true, isn't it? It's kind of the idea about bushcraft though, isn't it? Yeah. Who cares if you get a bit messy? Well, you're not even funny if you're not dirty, are you? No. Whee! Right, rub your hands. I've done a good job, haven't I? We'll see. Mmm, we'll see. Right, stop acting up to the camera. Hmm. <laughs> I hope huh. I made my bread right. My bread. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to have a finishing knead. This is going to sort our hands out. And then I'm going to stretch it a little bit. 
Then I'm going to oil the belly. Then I'm going to oil the little chewing. Now. Mm. Go. Clean it all down and oil the oven. Right. You take a white mousses. So you can get a lot of that off the ground, okay? Yeah. Really, this feels really good by the way, mate. Well done. Yay. I did it good. Yes, yeah. yeah. Ow. Do these have alcohol in? No. Good. <laughs> Looks like a big giant football. Looks like you were red. Hey! <laughs> My head has all got big lumpy bits in. Pre flower the lid. Right. So now I've got the task in hand cleaning the Dutch oven. So I can oil it. I'm trying not to get it in my sleeping bag, will you? No! Good job. So it's been warming up. 15 minutes now. I'm just going to turn it around a bit more. So my dog can cook. I'm going to give it 15 minutes outside. Then get a tripod made and hang it off the tripod. <coughs> so then, it has had its half an hour resting time. It's getting a bit dark now. That's where it's a treat. Put the lid back on. In fact, take the lid off. What I want to do is give it a shake. Make sure it's all still free in there, not sticking to anything. Don't put the stick down on anything where you're going to grab dirt. Yeah. It's still free. It's risen well. It's almost as big as the pan. So now, time to put it on the, uh, the tripod I've made. We're not going to need too much heat over there. Um, that lid's not on right. We want to. It needs, it's going to need about 45 minutes. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to just let it rest over that. Let that die down a little bit, I think. And just the heat off the coals. We're just going to try and cook it over the heat of the coals, and that'll be fine.
Yeah, so all, all we want to do really is we don't want no flames, we just want the just want the heat to hit the bottom, really. So we'll let that die down and uh, time it from now, 45 minutes. When it gets about 20 minutes in, what I'm going to do is give it another um, shake bad handle, make sure it's all free. And then what I'll do is I'll um, chuck a load of coals and then was on the top of the um, Dutch oven and that will cook from the top down as well. So Smelling great by the way, I wish you could smell that. So, just had to stoke the fire up a little bit, it was, uh, it was getting a bit low, um, but we are halfway through cooking time, so we're just going to make sure everything's free, nothing's sticking, nothing's burning. That is looking delicious. Yep, still got movement. It's got a little bit of colour off the um, top of the lid, nothing major. But yeah, that is looking fantastic. Now we're going to start introducing um, a few coals to the uh, top of the Dutch oven to cook it from the top as well. Yeah. So we're going to come back to that in about 25 minutes. So then, we've reached the 45 minutes mark, but I can't smell bread. So I'm just going to give a give it a check. Um, maybe just have to lower it down into the uh, lower the tripod down a little bit.
little look see. I don't even have to check that anymore, I know that's not cooked. Okay, just smelt bread for the first time, so we're going to have a look. Oh yeah, that smells good. It's had nearly an hour now. Just smell a slight burning. Oh, that, but yeah, that is fantastic. Oh, look at that. Is it stuck? Not stuck. Did a little knife test. If the knife comes out and it's not gooey. Yes. That my friend is a perfect Dutch oven bread loaf. Thanks for joining us. Sorry it's taken a little bit longer than expected, but I'm going to put this in um, my uh, Shemag now, um, just so it doesn't dry out too fast, um, and we'll catch it for breakfast. I'll bring it back in the morning when we're having it for breakfast. We're not going to eat it now, we've just had some hot dogs, so thanks guys. This for this is the finished product. Just thought I'd bring you back in quickly. Crusty, but soft. It is fantastic. It smells delicious. A little bit burnt on the bottom. 
um because i just put it a bit lower down and cooked it probably a little bit quicker but i was getting impatient but lovely Delicious. You can put your thing on there if you want. Hi. Or your Maltesers or whatever. Okay. And how that would taste. What flavour is that, Fred? Cheese and onions, so I don't know how it's going to taste. <laughs> 